<laughs> Holiday boat parades are back this year. Gasparilla too. That means a ton of celebration and of course a lot of beads. And city leaders want all of us to do what we can to keep those beads out of the bay. 10 Tampa Bay is live in Tampa. We have Eric Glasser there with more on the Bead Free Bay initiative that they are launching again this year, Eric. Courtney, you know, it's so great to have all of these celebrations back, but along with those festivities, as you said, yes, is the initiative to keep beads out of the bay. This afternoon, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor met with environmentalists and parade organizers. They all started to talk about and then decided to relaunch the Bead Free Bay Initiative. No bead throwing if you're part of the big boat flotilla. Throwing them on land is still going to be okay, but they want people to make a more concerted effort, even in those cases, to keep beads out of the water. They're bad for marine life, like fish, turtles, dolphins, manatees. They're not biodegradable, so they sit there for a really long time. And when they do finally break down, they add microplastics to the ecosystem, which is bad for all of us. Back in 2019, last time they had these things, a scuba diving team working with the Florida Aquarium pulled 120 pounds of beads out of the bay near Bayshore Boulevard along the parade route. So clearly, it's an issue. Not only have we got all of the crews uh, that participate in Gasparilla and are participate in the water uh, invasion to agree not to throw beads, we have also got a number of volunteers that will go and dive our bay to make sure that they're picking some of the beads that have been thrown in the past out in the, into the water to make sure that we get those out every single year. And if you still need more motivation to keep those beads out of the bay, keep in mind it is illegal to throw them or any other items like them into the water. There was also a lot of talk this afternoon about participating, if you can, if you remember to, in a bead recycling program. There are plenty of them out there. Just do a little bit of research and you can save yourself a little bit of time, effort. It's for a good cause and they don't end up in the bay like these. As for the upcoming events themselves, this Saturday night will be the first one out here on the bay. That's going to be December 18th for the uh, parade. That's the Holiday Lighted Boat Parade and Gasparilla. That is slated for January 29th.